Now that the summer is finally here, we will all hopefully be invited <laughs> to some really great outdoor parties and cookouts and barbecues. And this is a really awesome dish to take to something like that because it can be very allergy friendly for anyone there. And it's a nice crispy, light summer dish. We are making Thai inspired uh, mushroom and lettuce wraps. So to get started, we're gonna cook our mushrooms. And I'm using several different kinds of mushrooms. So just use what you like or use what you have. I have shiitake mushrooms. Those are here. Um, those are traditionally used in Asian inspired dishes. So we're going to have some of those and then some portobellos. Those are easier to find. You should be able to find these at just about any grocery store. And I'm going to cut these just into slices. You can pull the little stemmy part off if you want. And you can get about four or five slices uh, of that thickness per mushroom. And when we're finished, we're going to end up with about four cups worth of mushrooms all together. All right, all of our mushrooms are cut. We're going to put those aside for a moment and just make a really simple uh, sauce so that we can saute them on the stove. And this is taking the place of what would typically be like chicken or turkey inside of a lettuce wrap. We're going to use these delicious mushrooms instead. So we start with a tablespoon of olive oil and two tablespoons of, I like to use Bragg's aminos, you can use a soy sauce. Uh, then I have a clove of garlic. Okay, so one clove of garlic added to that. This is a teaspoon of hot sauce or more if you like it. <laughs> and now grate the ginger as well. And that's it. So just simple five ingredients. And then we're gonna get this on the stove and stir it around with the mushrooms and let it cook. And you'll find that as the mushrooms are cooking, there's actually going to be more sauce because right now they're kind of like sponges. And as they start to cook down, the sauce that we're making is gonna kind of come back out of them. Uh, so what you wanna do is cook them for, I would say 10, 15 minutes until all the sauce in the pan is gone and the mushrooms actually start to brown a little bit. Then they'll be perfect and you can take them off the stove. So while the mushrooms are cooking on the stove, we're gonna get started on a really simple dipping sauce. And you can really do so many things with this. You can make this a peanut sauce if you want by adding some peanut butter and a little bit of hot water. Uh, and that will melt the peanut butter and make it a really good peanut sauce. You can add lots of hot sauce to this if you want. We're gonna start with two tablespoons of Bragg's or soy sauce or coconut, whatever you guys are using <laughs> in place of soy sauce. And then two tablespoons of a seasoned rice vinegar. So there's our base. Two teaspoons of a toasted sesame oil. And this stuff is super fragrant. It's very, very strong in flavor, but it's gonna be delicious for something like this. And that'll help mellow out that vinegar taste. One teaspoon of maple syrup. You can also use brown sugar if you'd like. The juice of one lime. And lastly, a clove of garlic grated and a little more fresh ginger grated. So the dipping sauce is ready. We're gonna get our mushrooms off the stove and the rest of our components laid out on the table. We have all the components for our Thai lettuce wraps out on the table. So I'm gonna walk you through what everything is. First, we'll start with the things that need to be pre-cooked. So I have here some brown jasmine rice that I cooked with some ginger and that is cooled and that's gonna set aside. Uh, this is a bowl of the mushrooms that we just made. So those are here and those have cooled off a little bit as well. And then we have the dipping sauce that we just made and everything else are just raw fresh ingredients that you can use or not use, whatever you like. So here I have some cucumber with the skin peeled off cause that's kind of bitter. So you can just use a regular cucumber and cut that up. Uh, some shredded raw carrot. 
I have some cilantro, fresh basil, and fresh lime so you can serve that, and then some sesame seeds to top it off, and your favorite hot sauce if you are so inclined. So to build these wraps, or these cups, depending on really which lettuce you're going to use, um, the two kinds I'm gonna show you today serve different purposes, <laughs> if you will. This is a Boston bib lettuce, and you can see it has these really big, fluffy, beautiful, soft leaves, and this is great because you can really like roll it up and fold it up, and it's not gonna crack and crumble like something like a romaine lettuce would do, which is a little uh, more sturdy. So this is Boston bib lettuce, and if you're going to a party, you can just kind of stack all these leaves up and let people grab them and assemble them themselves as they're going to eat everything. Over here, this is endive, or if you're fancy, you can pronounce it on Dive, and actually both are acceptable, <laughs> so say whatever one you like more. Uh, but these have these nice little tiny leaves, they kind of look like almost like tortilla chips or something, these little scoopy cup leaves. So these are great, especially if you're serving this as an appetizer, you can fill it all up and set them out on a plate. So we're going to fill some right now. We'll get started with, we'll use this nice big leaf here. And there's really no order to this. It's kind of like making tacos. Just add whatever you like. Careful not to fill it too much. So we'll put some rice, some of those mushrooms, a little carrot, some cucumber, and now some of those fresh herbs on top. And I'm gonna set that right there. Some sesame seeds and a little hot sauce. So you can, as I said, pre-assemble these, especially if you're doing little appetizers like that and fill up a whole plate or just present all of these components to your guests and let everybody figure it out and put on what they want. And don't forget the delicious dipping sauce. You can serve this in little tiny cups or just drizzle it on the top yourself. Woo, it smells good in here. If you make this, please invite me to your house. I will even bring it for you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. These are delicious Thai-inspired mushroom lettuce wraps.